Welcome back, guys. We have a special part two to this Ikoria adventure. You may have noticed that there was one patron missing, and that was our good friend JP. And he said, you know what, Shane? I want 36 packs of Ikoria. So, we have a whole dedicated box opening to Ikoria, Layer of the Behemoths. Let's go, man. Yeah, JP kindly wanted to uh, just have a whole box for himself. He says, I love this set. It's my favorite set ever. And I think I agree with him. This is up there for me. Like, even historical sets, like, I love Ikoria. Dinosaurs, Godzilla, Ozolith, all the fun stuff. Box toppers are always fun and exciting. So the winner of this box topper will be JP. So we'll save that for later. And let's just get to cracking and see what JP gets today. Man. So exciting, so exciting. So I can confirm Alex was the winner on the last video for that box topper, the Godzilla, the Inevitable Doom. Not a great throw from me. All right. Okay, cool. Let's get the packing, cracking, cracking. Another episode of the Crackdown. This is kind of a part two, I guess, so to speak, of our last one. So let's get our solid footing with our frost, frost links and our tentative connection to our perimeter sergeant to ram through these Whisper squads, find the saber tooth to anticipate the cloud piercer. We can ride on our Volpkeet to alert our heat bonder and find our exuberant wolf bear. That's a thick boy. Boneyard lurker and a titan's nest for our first fear. I'm I promise I won't do that anymore. Yeah, we, we won't spend a ton of time on the commons and commons with the last video where we kind of went through those. So we'll just roll through these for JP. Yeah, good luck, man. Uh, all this is coming your way. So let's, uh, we'll, we'll definitely see Shark Typhoon. Boom, good hit right off the bat. Yeah, we'll, we're going to see how many triumphs you get. I think last box have four. JP, your mission is to beat that and get five. It'd be really cool if you got all five of the triumphs because there are five unique ones. So it'd be really nice to get them. There's spontaneous flight where that fox is just taken right off. A flying fox. A startling, startling development. That's a fun card because I just like watching that eagle. <laughs> they're just eating that giant. They're little, the little eagles, the little tiny eagle babies, eaglets. I guess it's I don't know, eagle babies. Blazing volley, weaponized the monsters. A proud wild wanderer. Hey, some of these cards are like kind of stuck together. Keitra, a snap dax. Apex of the Hunt. This is our first mythic. This has mutate, double strike. Whenever this creature mutates, it deals four damage to target creature and or planeswalker. An opponent controls and you gain four life. This is a cool card. This is one of the Godzilla cards, I think, but the magic version, I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. I think it is, though, yeah. Um, yeah, we'll set that aside. A foil of forest and a. Yeah, like I said, these are like stuck to. Like something's stuck behind this forest. An island. You get two, two lands, because I guess the foil slot for one of your lands. And a punch out card that fell to the ground, but we're not worried about the tokens. I'll get that later. Alright, we got a Pyroceratops. It's a uh, elemental dinosaur. It's a. Uh, Triceratops, but it's on fire, so, you know, just make it even better. Gust of Wind, a Mutual Destruction, Thwart the Enemy, Void Beckoner, Mystic Subduel, a Splendor Mare into a Labyrinth Raptor. Yeah, you're going through the Labyrinth, and all of a sudden this this spiky, like I said, everything in this, this world is spiky, a Labyrinth Raptor appears to ruin your day. Forest and Token. Yeah, last box was uh, an absolute banger. Oslith, we had four Triumphs, one of, just, just a lot of good stuff. Thieving Otter, there's that Otter that's still in all their gold they spent years to get the story behind that. We fought all these giant monsters and that's the thing that's ruined us and man, I just cannot get that wolf bear is thick with two C's. Those stone recluse, dust fang mentor into a gem razor. Nice, a little gem razor. Thornward Falls and a punch out token. Yeah, what are your guys' thoughts on this set? Did you have an opportunity to open it? Anything, you know, big? That this was uh, when this set came out, the commander decks that came out with it were the the yearly ones. Man, an eerie ultimatum and a foil triumph. JP, let's go, brother. Boom, boom. Uh, Jungle Hollow and a human soldier. We'll sleeve those up right away. Uh, but the commander decks that came out with this set were the yearly ones, and they were the ones that contained the really good cards, you know, that said like uh, like defect deflecting SWAT, uh, deadly rollick, fierce guardianship. Uh, basically, the, the cards that said you know if you control a commander, you cast a spell without paying its mana cost type stuff. And each each deck had a specific one in it. Yeah, really good. Well, let's take a look at those. There's a beautiful foil Rogger Rogren Triome and an eerie ultimatum. Yes, we'll keep up with the triumphs. We'll set them here. We'll put that in the regular pile of triumphs, kind of to the side. How about that? But yeah, nice pool. That was a good pack. Um, two, two, two good hits. If you ever see me look up at my camera in kind of a weird way, it's because it makes a noise, letting me know that it's like cutting over to the next like uh, segment of videos. And so I'm like, oh, did it stop? Am I that guy? A Zagoth Mamba and an Aluna Apex of Wishes. We pulled this in the last box, so nice. Back, another Mythic and a Dismal Backwater and a Shark, a Flying Shark. I think this is one of the tokens that's worth a little bit of money. So. Nice, there you go. A shark that flies, and it also, it's also pointy. Everything's pointy in Ikoria. If you're not pointy, you're not, 
You're not strong, I guess. That's that's how they dictate strength in this plane. Is <laughs> how many spikes do you have? Gust of wind. They see prickly marmoset. Helica glider. Even the squirrels are pointy. Everything's pointy. Everything's got spikes. A dark bargain. Ram through. Gloom pangolin. A skull prophet. A huntmaster liger. A Rogran crystal. Oh, nice. And the alt art planeswalker. Narset of the ancient ways. Man, look at that art. It's beautiful. Very nice. We'll set that aside. Get that sleeved up. A rugged highlands foil, a swamp, and a human soldier. Nice. JP starting off strong. I think it's impossible. I won't say it's impossible, but I think it's hard to miss with these boxes. It really is. Like their price point isn't crazy high. I think boxes are like 120 to 140 ish in that range. And I mean, it would be hard not to get like the the the, the expected value to like hit really. I'm not saying it can't, you know, uh, Karuga, the ma Macro Sage, Dinosaur Hippo. I mean, that's just, Hippos are mean anyway. Go ahead and give it some spikes and a big tail. Like, that just makes uh, for a bad day. A uh, Rugged Highlands and a Punch-Out token. Uh, but yeah, you'd be hard-pressed to, uh, I think, just completely strike out on these boxes. So, they're just fun to open. A lot of cool mechanics, like I said in the last video, or the last box. Companion nearly broke the format. Blitz of the Thunder Raptor into a Savai Triome. Nice pull. This is the Alt Art Triome. Man, beautiful. JP is just on fire. That's why you want a whole box for yourself, because you know it's going to have a lot of good pulls. Like, if I was dictating these out, you know, someone else, you might, this might have been a Triome for one person, a Triome for another person. JP's like, no, I want it all. A Spell Eater Wolverine. Also kind of spiky with lightning. Yeah, that's pretty fun. Cavern Whisperer in the Alt Art. I love the Alt Art frames in here, how they did it with uh oh there's Lurus. yes Lurus with the companion uh this is one of the cards yeah that almost broke everything uh, or it did i guess uh each permanent card in your starting deck has converted mana cost two or less there's so many shenanigans that can be had with that concept uh, and it was banned like i think so quick if i remember correctly that and the otter it's like almost like a day or something like just utterly just instant they're like no nah, i can't can't have that happen it's just too too broken that's wild for it to get through like wizards like you know their quality control i guess for their playtesting stuff and they're like oh yeah this seems decent and they're like oh we made a mistake here it happens but the Luris was uh, an absolute bomb too powerful unbreakable bond into a genesis ultimatum nice we're pulling all the ultimatums i like that uh, I, I think some of them aren't worth like a ton there's ultimate not all not all ultimatums were created equally but some some are worth some money so i'm just gonna sleep it just in case uh, like i said anytime i you know I, I double check all the cards before i put them in the in their respective shipping bubble wrap containers so anything that i miss that deserves a sleeve gets a sleeve pacifism oh he's got like the little like the cartoon like when you get knocked out and you see like the little like the birdies flying around your head essence scatter titanith survive crystal and a bonder's enclave nice we didn't pull this in the last box this is uh, one of the better lands in the set and it is worth a little bit of money money i swear these cards are a little stuck together scoured barons with a migratory great horn you will sleeve this up us let us sleeve there we go nice yeah this set was a, uh, a, f a breath of fresh air to everybody that was going through pandemic times uh, definitely could play a lot of this you know a lot of the drafts and stuff online the stampede amori the collector legendary creature ooze this also has commanding out i don't haven't seen this one a ton each non-land card in your starting deck shares a card type that seems like all the companion mechanics seem absolutely broken um, as it enters the battlefield choose a card type spells you cast the chosen type cost one less to cast a pretty darn good a phase dolphin it's here it's there it's everywhere see it now you don't it's a dolphin that can just disappear and phase out of existence blazing volley a proud wild bonder the porky parrot again a, a parrot that's got spikes and a bosh the prey piercer your starting deck contains only cards with odd converted mana cost, cost and land cards that was just funny the unique one for sure but i like that only odd stuff that means you'd be safe from uh, what is it void winner isn't it like even stuff you can't can't cast or block or whatever yeah so that would that would have that would save you from that card at least. A Frill Scare Mentor Escape Protocol into an Unbreakable Cyclone. And aren't all Cyclones kind of unbreakable? I don't know. Is that redundant, I guess? And a Foil Bristling Boar. There's the boar with spikes. See, that's a powerful boar. You can tell because it has spikes. That's the rule of Ikoria. The more spiky you are, the more dangerous you are. I guess that's a good rule for life, too. Here's them eagles eating again. Falling Wilds. 
a plummet to monstrous step into a gigantha the wellspring this is a good card it's elemental elk look how big that elk is compared to those little tiny elks all around it uh companion no card in your starting deck has more than one of the same mana symbol in its mana cost so that's automatically just awesome and then you can tap to add wooberg which is all the colors all five of them white blue black red and green this mana can't be spent to pay generic mana costs what a fun little card i've seen it play a lot an unbreakable bond. Look at this. This gal and her gigantic raccoon armadillo thing. From now until the crystals stop glowing, keep your oath meaning forever. From now until the crystals stop glowing. I like that. That's that's sweet. Winds guard Craig and a human soldier token. Yeah, Jiggy. Gigantha sees a lot of play in Commander. Oops. I butchered this pack. I think that means there's something good in it because it doesn't want to come out and play. And plus it's got the prickly marmoset. That's, you know, just a good time. Easy prey. Wingspring Mentor to Dire Tactics, a Mythos of Vadrock. There's one of those cave paintings from Seb McKinnon. A forest and a punch out token. Bow, bow, bow. Plus, I mean, the packs themselves have the prickly marmoset set on them. Like, so like, that's just, everyone knew the drill. And they, they saw the artwork, they're like, yeah, we gotta, we gotta market this artwork. People love the marmoset set <laughs> and put some prickles on it. Make it prickly. A Sanctuary Smasher into a Mythos of uh, Snap Dax. We get back to back Mythoses here. There's that one. And then a Spring Draw chap Trap Foil, Thornwood Falls, and Human Soldier. All right, we're cooling off a little bit. It's time for a big hit again. It's time for something spicy. Not all packs can be good, I guess. It would make, you know, the prices fall, but you, you definitely want it to be like that. Fight is one Boon of the Wish Giver into a Death's Oasis Enchantment. And a foil, swallow hole. Man, you're hitting a ton of foils. You over here. You are a foil, but you're not an expensive foil. Mountain and a feather. It's just a feather. Blowing in the wind. Yeah. It's just a feather. A thieving otter. A light of hope. A rumbling. An Aegis turtle. Aegis turtle. Mysterious egg. What secrets do you hold? A dirge bat. Another stuck card. Uh, unbreakable bond again. A dirge bat is your rare. A mountain and a punch out token. I'm not sure why these are so sticky. This must be like different ink or something, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Forbidden friendship of one mind. You get to meld yourself with this giant zebra pegasus cat beast. Wonderful times. Cloud piercer. There's our fox friend again. A pouncing shore shark. Oh my gosh, it's a shark with these yoked arms. Boy, does not skip arm day. A uh, Lord Dracus and a General Kudro of Dranath. Nothing. Another mythic. Nice. A swamp and a human soldier. Don't remember what he's worth. I will keep him unsleeved for now. But if I find out he's worth a little bit of cash, any of these cards, I'll sleeve it up post video. Trust me, I treat you. I treat you cardboard right, cause I have a lot of cardboard and I want to treat it right as well. I've got a pile, an absolute pile of, of open packs right now. The blood curdle, Draineth healer. Man, these are all kind of like stuck together. So I'm going through them. I think it's funny. Oh man, oh, come on. Stormod Caprador, bird goat. <laughs> And a Kahira, the Orphan Guard. Nice. And then a Foil Thieving Otter. A pretty thief. It's better than a regular Thief of Plains and a Soldier Token. Alright, last pack of this stack, and then that leaves us with 12 packs to go. Bam. It's time for a good hit. We've yet to have, have a good hit in these last few packs, so it's time. It's t -t time to do 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 Bastion Remembrance, good. Hey, there we go. Nice. Draineth Magistrate. Um, I was wrong. This is like a $20 card. I think I said in the last video or last box that it was like 10. It's 20. Like 20 bucks. Such a good card. JP, I know that you have a stack deck. I'm pretty sure you already have one of these, but now you've got to trade it in for something if you don't want it or throw it in another deck. Excuse me. Rebel. A wilt. So I'm going to give that plant some. That plant. Plant's got like. It's spiky. Everything's spiky. Even the plants. Gosh. Dustfang Mentor. Bastion Remembrance is one of the better uh, uncommons. An inspired ultimatum. Nice. We'll sleep that up. An island and a soldier. Because I don't remember exactly which ultimatums were better than the others. My piles here. All right. Man, we're, we're lacking on triumphs. We need to, uh, the challenge with the gauntlet was thrown for JP to hit five. Is it two? We're going to need three quick triumphs as we're running out of packs here. A heightened reflexes, a sleep dart, sleeper dart, sleep, convolute, and a wingspan mentor into dire tactics and extinction event. This is a decent card. Uh, this this a uh, couple bucks uh, worth of sleeve. Uh, I found that out yesterday, as a matter of fact, or last night when I was sleeving the other box stuff up. Uh, so yeah, I think Alex will. Alex actually hammered it home with those five packs. Just I mean, couldn't have got more value out of five packs. So good job. But JP's like, hey, don't focus on Alex. Focus on me, buddy. This is my box. Polywog symbiote giant polywog into another Genesis ultimatum. 
JP is getting the ultimatums like they're going out of style. Let's see. Oh, right. Come on, where's the Triomes? Triomes and Godzilla cards. That's what we want to see. Or an Ozolith. We definitely want to see an Ozolith. There's Luka, Whisper Squad, a fully, fully grown. I mean, if that's fully good, night. Hanging up. So they call it Lair of the Behemoths for a reason, because these are certainly Behemoths. Reconnaissance Mission, Great Uncommon, into a Ruinous Ultimatum. Holy cow, JP, you're hitting every single Ultimatum they've ever made. Island and a Beast Token. Hot dog. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. Hot dog. Just brushing up on my uh, kid cartoons where I have to like watch those nonstop. Babysat my niece and nephew before, so I, I know all about the uh, the blueies and the the hot dogs. So I'm ready for it. Crystal crystalline giant for the rare swamp and a generic token. Come on, where are the triomes? Where is the ozolith? Where are you? Frostfell ambush. A honey mammoth. Lord, look at all that honey that mammoth's eating. I bet the bees even have uh, spikes on them. Fire Prophecy, Adaptive Shimmer, Vulpkeet. There's our Foxbird, Spitfire Dragon. Sanctuary Lockdown, Ominous Seas into a Mythos of Nethroi. Nethroi. Oh, Roy. Yeah, you've gotten a lot of Mythos, you've gotten a lot of the Ultimatums. But what we don't have is a lot of Triomes and or Ozolith. Let's get some Ozolith. Let's get some Godzilla cards. Let's get something crazy. Splendor Mare, Insatiable Hemophage, and a Garuda, Doom of the Depths. Another companion card with a Plains and a Human Soldier. All right, JP, what do we got? We got one, two, three, four, five packs left. We saw what Alex could do with five packs today, so or yesterday. Let us see what you can do now, my friend. Phase Dolphin, Cavern Whisperer, a Moss Coat. Uh, General Enforcer, I'm spoiling it. Savai Crystal. Hey, nice! Another awesome pack. Yeah, so there we go. I guess it's in fives. A Keecher Triumph and a Foil Emergent Ultimatum. I think last time we did that, it was really good. It was a Foil uh, Triumph and a, an Ultimatum. So you're just sticking to theme. I like it. But that's what we want to do. Alright, we are up to three Triumphs. We have three different ones. We have Rogren, Savai, and Keetra. And I'm almost positive now you have all the Ultimatums. So if you were looking for those, you've got them now, my friend. Alright, can we get two more Triomes in these last few packs? That would be awesome. An Imposing Ventasaur. Starling Development. Da 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 da. Convolute. Rooting Mind. Another Parcel Beast into a General Kudro. We already hit him. We got two. You got two of him now. Another Mythic. I'll definitely check to see if he's worth anything. Don't think, if anything, it's a couple bucks, but. It's still a fun mythic. I mean, he's a, uh, he's a he's a legendary creature, so you can run him as a commander. And he says other humans you control get plus one, plus one. And whenever General Kudro of Dranath or another human enters the battlefield under your control, exile target card from an opponent's graveyard, so you can get rid of some nasty stuff. Two, and sacrifice two humans to destroy target creature power four or greater. So you have some destroy abilities. So you destroy something, and then you can flicker him or throw another human in to get rid of it out of the graveyard permanently. Permanently. Speak, I promise. That's kind of fun, I guess. Uh, Easy Prey, Ivy Elemental, Ominous Seas into a Whirlwind of Thought. That's uh, Narset, I think, in the, yeah, as Narset struggled to meditate, tiny dragonling spiraled around her, conjuring thoughts of ancient clans. Narset's definitely like Zen. She's one with her, like, thoughts and el the elements around her. All right, last two packs. We got to pull something good here. We got to at least get one more Triome to make it, like, great. So one pack's going to have a Triome, one pack's going to have a uh, Ozolith, and we're going to call it a day. Come on, Bear Bear, be there for us. Will the All Hunter Storm Wild a Grim Dancer into a Death's Oasis? Not what we we're looking for. Okay, so that means this pack has a Ozlith and a Triome in it. Yes, one foil, one regular. All right, last pack, JP. Thank you so much, my friend, for hopping into a specific box for just yourself. Always fun to do these. I love doing like just regular box openings. Slender Mare into a... Ron Leinfeld, our cat beast. Not what we were looking for, but hey, I think still good box. Dranath Magistrate was in here. Every uh, ultimatum ever printed, and then three, three awesome triumphs. So not a bad box at all. And then obviously the cherry on top is going to be this box topper. Let's see what we get here. This is a for sure Godzilla card, and it is ba boom Dorat, the perfect pet. This is uh, one of the more cheaper ones, but still a cool card in the foil. It's a fairy dragon with flying and haste. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, put a plus one plus one counter on sprite dragon. 
So I was talking about this. The uh, Sprite Dragon will be the name of the magic card, but Dorat the Perfect Pet is what it is in the Godzilla universe. So they kind of like supplemented them both. But uh, nice. I'll sleep that up for you as well. Uh, JP overall, I think this is a good box. Thank you again for being a kind patron, reaching out, wanting to do an entire box opening for yourself. If you want to get into our Patreon, like I said before, we're getting ready to restructure a lot of stuff, but take a look at it. Um, support the channel if you like with uh, some of those tiers. If not, just like, subscribe, watch the videos. That goes a long way, I promise. And thank you so much for everything, guys and gals. Um, thousand subscribers, woohoo. Uh, a lot of new stuff coming your way, and I uh, appreciate it. Go have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye!